Hello, everybody, and welcome to Weird Spins. Uh, I just found a way to kind of set up the phone where uh, I don't have to have anybody riding with me, and it's not uh, hopefully going to vibrate so much as to make a bunch of racket where you can't even hear me. Uh, I'm only doing part of the video while driving today. The uh, reason I'm actually driving today is not work, as you can tell by my more normal clothes. Uh, I'm uh, going to fetch a television. Uh, I've been watching for a 3D TV to pop up uh, where I could just go and finally have one. And lo and behold, thank you, Facebook Marketplace. There it is. Uh, always watch Marketplace and Craigslist for things. You'll find all kinds of goodies that you'll never afford for sometimes as much as nothing. You know, so that's a good thing. And I've always wanted one. I've been grabbing 3D Blu-rays out of thrifts for the longest time. And so today I'm picking that up and I'm going to give somebody else $15 for a Blu-ray player for it. And I'll have a full setup. Uh, not a big one, just a 32-inch set. But that's really all I need because I'm only going to be using it exclusively for 3D content. Alright, so today I wanted to talk about, though, a really legendary an often overlooked band who's had a career that was built on covers but eventually did some originals <clears throat> they've uh, they've contributed as much as well I won't say the Beatles but we'll say at least the monkeys uh, in some respects and uh, it seems like uh, people just never really address that and the reason they never address that is until recently they never had their own album well now they have their own album and uh, I'm talking about Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. Uh, running the gamut from psych to hard rock to pop ballads and everything in between. Uh, like Vanilla Fudge, they did a lot of cover material for the longest time. But more recently, we're seeing more originals from them, which is a great thing. Uh, for anybody that's not familiar with the members, I'm going to see if I can try to remember them all. Uh, most recent member is Lips. Lips uh, joined the band uh, in the fifth season of The Muppet Show when they were the Muppets in-house band. He was in the orchestra and then he joined the Electric Mayhem. And then we have Zoot on saxophone. Uh, we have Janice uh, who provides additional vocals and plays various instruments. Uh, we've got Animal on drums. Uh, and often overlooked because everybody perceives that Dr. Teeth himself is the prime uh, driving force creatively behind the electric mayhem, but that's not true. It's kind of like a, a Lennon McCartney thing or a, a, <laughs> a Dolan's Nesmith thing. Uh, really, it would be uh, Floyd Pepper. Floyd Pepper is one of the huge driving forces behind the band creatively and actually could probably be considered by some to be uh, the primary founding member who kind of discovered Dr. Teeth. And the backstory of that is actually told in a new series that's on uh, Disney Plus called uh, Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem, or just Muppet Mayhem. So Muppets Mayhem is a great miniseries that gives you the backstory on the band. It features... Uh, uh, a central character who's a young woman who is dreaming her entire life of becoming uh, a lead executive at a record label and she's worked for a record label for many years as basically the gopher the secretary what have you and she finally gets this opportunity to reach out as the label's about to go fold and finds out that there's an unfulfilled contract with the Electric Mayhem to record a record. So she rounds the band up and proceeds to try to make that happen. And over the course of this mini-series, um, you learn the backstories of many of the characters, including uh, Dr. Teeth himself and how he had to overcome the adversity of his family, you know, basically stepping on his dreams because he was in real life going to be a dentist, well, we'll say in, in real life of the show, and uh, instead became a rock star. So it's a really, really fun, hilarious kind of a road show of a movie. It features lots of incredible cameos from um, rock and pop.
pop stars. Uh, there's a wonderful <laughs> hallucination scene where they go out in the desert and they reach some personal realizations as a result of hallucinations brought on by marshmallows that had expired more than 20 years prior. So expect a really good time. And by the way, Weird Al Yankovic actually makes a cameo in that bit. Uh, so next thing I'm going to do is cut this off and when I get done fetching my TV, I'll take you back to the house and we'll take a couple of minutes and we'll go over their new record. All right, so maybe I need to clean my lens or something. There's this weird haze. Kind of looks like the cheesecloth look that you see in like late 90s uh, Rye TV horror films uh, from, well, Rye, so Italy, R-A-I. Uh, you know, uh, some of the stuff that came out from Lamberto Baba and Lucio Fulci late in their careers had this weird gauze appearance. Lamberto Lindsay, too, that was made direct for TV, like uh, House of Clocks and uh, uh, the, the entire Houses of Terror series. Anyway, um, finishing up on this one, uh, the uh, Muppet Studios presenting Muppet Mayhem. This is the Walmart exclusive picture disc, beautiful picture disc. Let me get it out of the sleeve so that it's got less glare from that uh, mylar on there, which I've kept on there until I can get an internal bag for it because they don't provide you with one on those window sleeves for Disney. But a lot of color, has all the characters and a sort of a, a, a wheel effect. Wheel of Fortune, who are we going to land on? Will it be Janice? Will it be Animal? And then the flip side is the awesome drum head. Uh, songs on here are wide ranging. There are a couple of original songs. Again, uh, Rock On, I think, is actually a pretty good song. It's very enjoyable. Uh, the Rock and Roll All Night cover on here proves to me that Dr. Teeth actually sounds a lot like Gene Simmons. Uh, so there you have that. Uh, there's an insert. So you get a little extra insert art with. Uh, autographs and uh, details of the songs that are included on the album on the flip of it which is hard to tell with uh, the lighting and the sort of gauze effect here but there's text there trust me there is uh, there are several different colored vinyl variants as well with a really beautiful cover so I'm gonna put that right here and post so that you can see what the cover art looks like you can actually see that cover being manufactured in the television series. So again, the mini series is uh, just called Muppets Mayhem and it is on Disney Plus. It's a great little show. It's fun to sit through. I actually uh, made it through the whole thing in three marathons watching just a, a couple of episodes a night. There's not a whole lot to it, but it's very entertaining. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, there have been some other things that have happened. I've picked up some singles that I rescued. So I'll probably go through those at some point down the road. Um, not very many of them in great shape. And a lot was thrown away that was in terrible, terrible shape. Some of it tragic, like a actually broken original Buddy Holly and the Crickets Press. Uh, so, yeah, there was a, a, a kind of a big loss on that one. But it was, uh, well, not a loss because the stuff was free. Also, uh, I went up to Stewart and acquired a, a new old television, which I'm very uh, pleased about. Uh, so it was worth an hour and to an hour and 15 drive to go get. I've always wanted a 3D TV. So I got a 3D TV and I paid $15 and got a Panasonic 3D Blu-ray player from someone uh, that was selling it on uh, on Facebook Marketplace, and they didn't even realize that it was a Blu-ray player. She was just referring to it as a DVD player. And when I asked, did she have any 3D discs? She didn't honestly know what I was talking about. It was just an older lady that was showing off that she had a VHS collection, to tell you the truth. So, uh, yeah, we all we all love our old media. So I'm happy to say that now I have 3D TV, 3D Blu-rays. I've been picking up Blu-rays in uh, thrift for quite some time. So tonight I'm probably going to check out Lego Movie, maybe Rio. Uh, 
I did get a bargain on this. I, I had to go ahead and buy this. So I treated myself to Creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, in the last couple of days, uh, I've fallen asleep at some point or other to uh, uh, Ice Age Dinosaur, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, which was great. Uh, the Blu-ray player uh, was by itself, but the television, the guy actually gave me a copy of Monsters vs. Aliens, and that was just phenomenal. They actually do a tribute to the House of Wax opening with the ping pong paddle in animation at the beginning of that movie, and there's references to so many wonderful films, Attack of the 50-Foot Woman, Destroy All Monsters, uh, there's sort of a Gilman meets Horror of Party Beach kind of thing going on in it. And the thing called Bob is hilarious, which is, a, I think, Seth Rogen voicing that, so it's a really great character. This I actually saw in cinemas, the Rio in 3D, and I remember the, the music and the color of it and the quality of the 3D, and it was just exceptional. So I'm looking forward to that one as well. Uh, I sat through Bloody Valentine. Uh, I sat through The Maze, which was interesting, and uh, I sat through The Mask, which is one of my favorite movies, so I'm really, really enjoying it. Not the Jim Carrey mask. Uh, it's an old black and white movie. If you haven't seen it, look for a uh, 1961 black and white thriller. It has three short 3D segments in it. Uh, there are anaglyph versions of it out there. You can see it in flat in uh, streamings of Mystery Science Theater 3000. The 3D segments that were for it are really artsy and interesting. I think they may have had some influence on Ken Russell. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, and, and the direction that that sort of abstracted cinema could go. Uh, there's some just really neat ideas in it for just like dreamlike collage sequences of macabre imagery. So anyway, that's it for Weird Spins. And I love this record. I love the series. Uh, it's very colorful, a lot of fun, a lot of humor in it. Tons of artist cameos in this series. So that alone is worth taking a peek at it if you if you haven't seen it. But that's true of almost all things Muppets, all the Muppet movies. If you think Muppets are just for kids, watch back-to-back -back The Muppets and Muppets Most Wanted. And trust me you're gonna find them to be very entertaining you'll see a ton of amazing cameos in them uh, a lot of jokes that are geared a little bit more towards an adult audience to keep it uh, exciting and entertaining and hilarious uh, they're just phenomenal phenomenal shows and uh, uh, very enjoyable but I argue the same over DreamWorks and Pixar films as well Typically, there's, there's a lot more there than something for just little kids. So, that's it for Weird Spins, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye.